guys. It's your girl, Indie Reaction. Today, you guys, we got some more comedy. Um, funniest Foster Brooks bit on D. Martin. Let's get straight to you guys. First time ever reacting to this. Let's see if it makes us laugh. I'll try not to laugh. Let me know if you guys lost down in the comments. Our next speaker <laughs> has never met Don Rickles. Oh, that's a lucky guy. <laughs> but he, uh, he asked especially if he could come here tonight just to pay tribute to him. Ladies and gentlemen, would you please welcome Mr. Foster Brooks. Thank you, very, thank you very much. As the poor Puerto Rican gentleman just told you. I have never met Don Rickles. In fact, he's probably wondering what I'm do doing here. Is he making himself stutter or does he really stutter? <laughs> He has never even seen, never even seen. I guess he'd be a buddy. He has never seen me before. <laughs> he has never heard, heard of me and our paths have never drawn. <laughs> However, Mr. Reckles, you and I do have an indirect really relationship. <laughs> you see, I'm fooling around with your wife. <laughs> well. <laughs> so you see, we we do have some common. <laughs> Sam Wolf. I hope you understand, Don, that we have tried to keep this very, very discreet. <laughs> so don't tell anybody, will you? <laughs> My wife would be furious if she found out about it. Mm. Don, I really must compliment you on your spouse, Mrs. Mrs. Pickles. <laughs> I say that because she's a real dilly. <laughs> <laughs> and I must also admit you have a very, lo a very lovely home. <laughs> Incidentally, you're out of scotch. <laughs> If you happen to think of it, pick up some pretzels. <laughs> you know, Don, what your wife and I love to do most? <laughs> Watching you while you're on t t while you're on t TV. <laughs> when you're on, we just laugh and ch chuckle and giggle, and sometimes we even turn the sound on. <laughs> hey, he nods. And we are always sad when you fin finish your act. That means you're on your way home and I better cheese it. Which reminds me, you're out of Velveeta too. <laughs> Please, Don, don't, don't blame your lovely wife on, for any of this. Our getting together was all, all my doing. It's all my fault. I happen to be the one who answered her ad in the Hollywood Free Press. <laughs> He 
You know, your wife very, thinks that, thinks very, very highly of you, Don. She tells me you are a one, wonderful man. And I know that you, you must be to put up with all her snoring. <laughs> She tells me that since she's been Mrs. Rickles, Rickles, Rickles. <laughs> He weak as hell. <laughs> she says every day. Hey, how is banging your wife funny? Being in your house, telling you you need more food in your house, telling your wife is snoring, and that he is cracking up. This has to be the funniest. Good year is Thanksgiving. <laughs> By golly, that's what you get for marrying the turkey. <laughs> yeah, he was pretty funny. So the comment I made at the beginning asking, did he really stutter? Um, I think he does. I didn't, I didn't know this is my first time ever reacting to him. And, um, yeah, I didn't know. But it made it kind of funnier. Not in a bad way, but it made it kind of funnier. I don't make fun of nobody. My cousin like that, so is my brother. So, um, I think it's just, they think so fast and it just comes out like that. So, uh, calming tea. <laughs> but he is definitely, this was definitely funny, y'all. I don't know how you get roasted like that and they are cracking up. The person that's getting roasted was the one right beside him, right? He was so weak. Oh my gosh. I don't see how he laughed at that. But yes, you have to have a sense of humor. Life is not that serious. That's the point of being here, you guys, and what they're doing. So definitely was comedy. Definitely made me laugh. Let me know down in the comments if it made you laugh. Um, it was definitely funny. Be part of the family, you guys, and uh, welcome.